everyone and welcome to the Ghost Lairs Report here in Tokyo, Japan from my humble abode today and I am of course John Doe as we know Japan is continuing to slide into a fascism with the recent developments in the government current leadership the ramming through the state secrets law the push to fully remilitarize Japan, uh, Abe's continuing um, appearances with the military and talking about how great the military is and how much we need it, uh, continuing intense, intensifying hostilities against uh, Japan's Asian neighbors. It's clear. And also the financial aspect of things and what's going on in the economy. Yeah, we're pretty much there now. But as we also know, one of the hallmarks of fascism is a discrimination, and at times straight up racism, against marginalized groups who do not fit into the idea, the box, of what fascists think people should be in society, how we should look, how we should dress, how we should behave, and how we should even think about ourselves as a nation and as a society. That is no more true than a recent development here. There was a, recently there was a court case in Tokyo District Courts where I think 17 plaintiffs who were Muslim were awarded the equivalent of $1.8 million because the police had leaked their personal information. On a surface level, this may seem like a good thing. Okay, well, you can't leak people's personal information. You do that, you go to court, you get sued, these people get compensated. But I know. The full context of this court case came after that decision, or the judge decided to double down a little bit and declare that it's perfectly legal and okay for the police and the government itself to spy, carry out surveillance, collect all personal information on individuals who just happen to be Muslim. Just because you're Muslim, you need to be watched in Japan. Because you are a danger, apparently. Because you're Muslim, you know, you've got potential to be violent and dangerous. Now, let's not try to re remember that there has never, not once, been a mass act of violence for the purpose of terrifying people or murdering a, a mass amounts of people by anyone who just happens to be Muslim. So there is zero threat to Japan from the Muslim community. So how do they justify this? Well, they don't. The court just declared this and said, Okay, that's the way it is now. You're Muslim, we're watching you. But we won't leak your personal information to the public, but just know we got our eye on you, you Muslim. You're thinking things, dangerous things. We know it. So we're going to watch you. Yeah, ridiculous. Re fucking ridiculous. But why is someone like me even concerned about it or even cares about it? Well, because I know and I think most people know and understand if I'm looking at historical dialecticalism and seeing how things uh, evolve over time that once you're in a state of fascism and the fascists start going after 
marginalized groups, they don't just stop with one group. They go after all marginalized groups in society. They start to spy on you. They start to collect your personal information. If it goes further, and they get brave enough, they'll start to limit your your behavior. Where you can go, what you can do. And then if it gets large enough, and society is, gets the most fevered about it, you can see things happen in public. Public attacks against people. We've already seen that, actually, here in Japan, with the Korean community. Um, if you go down to Shinokubo, which I was there recently, it's commonly known as Korean Town here in Tokyo. From time to time, you know, you'll see um, these far-right fascist groups go down there and literally start attacking people of Korean descent. They have these demonstrations down there, they start screaming, shouting, calling for the death of Korean people. Scuffles happen on a routine basis down there. It can be quite horrific at times. So now we're moving on to the Muslims. huh? That's going to be the next group. I know if this continues, they'll find a reason to come after me for some reason. You know, they'll want to start pointing a finger at the dirty commies. You know, it's the dirty commies now who are a big threat. Really? Now you think that can't happen? Just look at past instances in history where fascism has fully taken hold. There's many examples of it because once capitalism collapses, and it always does, it starts to decline and enters a, a phase of fascism. Every time throughout history. And we know in 2008, capitalism did collapse globally. And now we see many nations sliding right into fascism. But let's look at what's behind a bit of this. Now the state secrets law was pushed by the American government on Japan. The reason behind it was, the Americans said, We'd like to share more information with you, but you leak too much shit. Can't trust you Japanese to keep a secret. So they come down with this, you know, hardcore law, state secrets law, which goes fully into effect later this year. Parts of it are now in effect now. And what happens next? Well, the Americans most likely approached our good fascist friend Abe. I said, hey man, now you got the state secrets law, um, we um, want you to give us more information on Muslims, you know, because, you know, we're on a campaign to smash Muslims from the world and blame them for every damn thing we can, because we hate them so much, because they hate us because we're free, and all that rigmarole. So they wait for the right opportunity, this court case comes up, uh, the judge has an opportunity to Get that in there and legalize monitoring and spying on people of Muslim background. And boom, there it is. So you see, the imperialist Americans are pushing Japan in this direction. And the bourgeois here in Japan are all about it. All about it. They love this. Can't get enough of it. Because it helps to secure their power in the face of a declining economy, in the face of increased social unrest, in the face of people continuing to take to the streets and saying, hey man, nah, 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 we don't like the way things are going. We want you to do something. Because we are the people. And in theory, if you're a bourgeois system, we're supposed to be in control here, but, but we're not. So they're looking to secure their power a bit more. And what are what are the better way to do this than to fly the nationalist flag, you know? Talk about how evil our enemy is, you know, our enemy that's never attacked us, not once. 
and say we need to spy on them and watch them. Because they're going to do something and we know it. We can't prove it, but we know it. You know, that madness. So you know, I see this only, only increasing over time, you know. We've had this thing with the, with the Koreans going on for a while. Now they're going to go after these Muslims. It's only going to progress until all marginalized groups here in Japan are basically being tracked, watched, and attacked on a damn street. So this is something to keep in mind as we progress forward here in Japan. So until next time, this is me, John Dole, right here in Tokyo. Checking out.